Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today I have another favorites video for you. Um, one benefit of, I guess, what's going on in the world is that we're all at home more, so you can actually use the products that you spend so much money on and try them out. Um, sometimes when you're working lots and life goes on, you buy things and don't really have time to use them. So here's some items that I've really been loving this month. There's skincare, hair care, and actually quite a bit of makeup. I have essential oils, and I'm also going to include some audiobooks that I've been listening to. I've been finding that audiobooks really keep my mind busy, um, and they're the same as books for me. Like, I can still visualize the story and everything like that. had a couple good ones that I've recently read, so I'll just link everything underneath as always. And don't forget to subscribe underneath. It's free, and it really helps me out a lot. And like this video, letting me know that you love favorite videos and review videos and you'd like more of them. I have a playlist of my favorites videos as well, so they're easy to find, but let me know underneath what are some of your favorite things this month, because I'd love to try them out. Thank you so much, guys. So my first favorites are foundations and CC creams, three of them, and they all have different um, benefits to them. The first product is this one right here. It's the Wander Beauty Flash Focus Hydrating Foundation Stick in Light. And this is the color. I love that it is a neutral color. It's got a cool tone to it. I love cool tones because I'm so fair and I can get so pink and red easily so the cool tones minimize that. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today and it's absolutely beautiful. It's super hydrating and creamy and a little goes a long way. I've really been loving this and I would recommend it for anyone with dry skin. And if you love a cool undertone to your uh, foundations this light one I would recommend if you're like the similar skin tone as me it's a, a little bit dark for when I'm at my palest of pale but right now when I have a bit of color to me this matches me perfect and I love this it looks good on camera and it looks good in person as well because it's hydrating the next thing I've just been trying other foundations this month and this really made me realize how much I still love this one um, this is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in Fair. Again, it's a very neutral tone to it. And it is, um, it's got SPF 50 to it. It's color correcting, full coverage, anti-aging. Again, I love when skincare companies make makeup because it's actually so nice on your skin. Whenever I use this, this, this CC cream is the one out of all of them that looks the best in person, for sure. Every time I wear this in person, people are like, oh my god, you have such good skin. Your skin looks so glowing and even. It's all thanks to this, and you can really build it up just depending if you're going to use a sponge or a brush for it. I've been using it for years, and I love it, and I've still been using it now in summer because it's nice and light. And I don't get burnt in the sun, so obviously it has good sun protection in it as well. So I really do still love this. Next is this a new one for me. It's this one right here. It's the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This is very high coverage foundation, and this is the color Shell that I have it in. I wear this a lot when I'm filming. If you're someone that's filming, or taking pictures and you want your skin to look like airbrushed this one it looks so good on camera and in photos but in real life if you have dry skin you definitely have to moisturize and exfoliate before you use it and you have to use like a hydrating primer and stuff because it can stick to dry spots if I have any skin issues going on um, so that's one thing but if you're looking just for specifically for camera and photo I find this one looks so good on camera and in the photos but in real life it looks a little bit cakey on me uh, just because my skin is so dry and that's just a reaction that I normally have to found to high coverage foundations because my skin is so dry every little bit sticks out like a dry patch um, so that's why I don't wear full full coverage on a daily basis out because I just find it looks kind of cakey on me but in a photo or in um, in a photo or in a video or maybe you don't have dry skin so so um, high coverage foundation looks better on you I would give this a try and I love again the neutral undertone and it just gives like an airbrushing effect from far away for sure and up close 
if you have dry stuff if you have dry up close you can definitely see it but I do love all these three for all different reasons and it's just exciting to have three foundations that I like and I have so many products and I've just been having more time now to actually try things which I really enjoy um, the next thing is another thing that I'm obsessed with oh my gosh this right here it is gorgeous I'll shake it first it is the iconic London water mist original it says you're supposed to shake it for an even glow and spray 12 inches away from your face it uh, soothes your skin and locks in your makeup and it says prep set and glow my gosh you guys I have <laughs> I can't believe I have never I can't believe that I have never known about a good freaking setting spray until this year like I've been doing it all wrong I don't know I always do my makeup but I never thought I needed a setting spray I didn't think my makeup had to stay in place because I have such dry skin it doesn't really go anywhere but my gosh this is amazing like I'm gonna have to figure out where I can buy more of this because I think Iconic London is kind of hard to find in my area so if you guys know where I can buy this product please let me know because I'm gonna need to when this is out um, you do all your makeup and I have tried it with mascara and eyeliner but my preference is to do my full makeup and then use it and then after it's dried put my liquid eyeliner and my mascara but I've tried it both ways and it doesn't make my mascara and stuff run but I have tried setting sprays that run make my mascara run so that's why I do it last but this you could put on the cakiest of cake mascara you could have dry patches and chunky kind of not blended in well bronzer and you spray this on and it just makes everything I'm wearing it today it makes everything look like skin it's dewy it gives you the most hydrated dewy finish there's a dew to it but there's not any actual visible glitters that I can see um, but I just absolutely love this like I feel like I'd have to I don't know if I can find a setting spray that's as good as this so now I've tried three setting sprays all this year which I've never tried any before but out of the three this is like 10 out of 10 for me and it also looks amazing on your vanity and in video like look at that it's gorgeous so I'm obsessed with that one I really love it and I now know that I won't go without setting spray if you haven't tried setting spray you're like me um, try it because you'll be surprised it just seals everything in so it looks like skin you can't even tell that you're wearing makeup like in a good way though so I love that Next, I've talked about in a previous video but I have to mention again it's this it cosmetic superhero mascara I'm a nurse I'm wearing masks at work I'm sweating it's hot and this mascara still doesn't bleed under my eyes when I al already have run like runny eyes and from using it it's all I've been using and my eyelashes just seem like they're getting longer and longer and I barely lose any lashes it's it's just a really good mascara it gives me the volume and length but also is nutritious to my lashes and it doesn't bleed everywhere which is nearly impossible to find for someone that has leaky eyes like me so I love this and I would repurchase it it cosmetics is making it cosmetics is it has a lot of items in this haul but it's not sponsored or anything I promise next I think I've mentioned it before but I have to mention it again pretty vulgar nightingale palette these are the colors I'm wearing them on my eyes today they're just so versatile I noticed when I could travel I was taking this with me and I can make so many looks out of it and it's so buttery so creamy so pigmented everything just lasts so well on my lashes I don't have fallout it just looks freaking amazing on the eyes like I've tried so many eyeshadows and there's so many that just you try it and it just does nothing for you so you never reach for it again and then when you find a good one you're just reaching and reaching and re reaching and I even made this look today with this palette you wouldn't be able to tell because um, it's a totally different look than normal but I'll show you what I added on top now which is my next item so the item that I added on top which I was not expecting to like as much as I do is this one here by Fenty Beauty love the packaging it's the trophy it's the trophy wife kilowatt illuminating highlighter I have it on my eyes today in the inner corners and also on my waterline I don't know if you can really tell in the video but you can really tell in person 
I don't know if you can tell, I hope you can. But this is what it looks like. I got it in a BoxyCharm Premium. It is so gorgeous and I saw it and immediately loved it, but I just thought for my skin tone, I don't see how a highlight like that will work for me because I'm just too fair and I usually have to use like champagne colored ones. Um, but then I was like, I need to make this work because it's too pretty to not use. So I use it as an eyeshadow and I'll be using this, I'm putting it in like my everyday makeup drawer and using it with my, I just make a normal smoky eye and then I put this on the inner corners and on the bottom lashes. And I'm just so impressed with this. Like it's such a unique gold. It stands out. It looks really nice in person. It looks nice on camera. It blends in with the rest of the eyeshadows. There's no fallout. It's super pigmented. It wears well. And even like in different lightings, like I was doing it just in not doing my makeup in natural lighting in my bathroom. And then when I turn the light off in my bathroom, even just in like kind of a dimmer light, it really pops. Like it almost like has a glow in the dark, almost, I don't know how to describe it. It just sticks out so much and it's so beautiful, but at the same time natural, but blends well. Like I just need to try more Fenty products after trying this because I see what the hype is about now and I really, really love it. So that's another thing that I've been loving. Next I have on my eyes today as well, and I always have it on my eyes almost. It's this Ico Liquid Eyeliner. It's super black, it's lash enhancing, carbon black and waterproof. This is what it looks like. It is like a felt tip pen, but it has such good control. It's easy to get that wing liner. It's beautiful, it stays on, it doesn't leak on my leaky eyes because so many of them do. It's very, very black. And I couldn't ask for more in a, in a liquid eyeliner. I've really been loving this one as well. Next, you guys know I love essential oils. I've been using On Guard when I feel like I'm getting a sore throat or something in my hot water with uh, like tea and honey and on garden also diffusing it so I don't get sick and also serenity I've been using so much of you can see it's like half used up this one's empty and this one's half used up but these are the essential oils I've been using so much of serenities for anxiety which we all have a lot of right now and this one's to not get sick again it's a natural product so it's not going to like cure be the cure all and end all of everything but i like to take little things that make me either calm down or have better immunity um i don't expect it to be groundbreaking and change the world or anything but i just like doing little things like that and vitamins to kind of help with my immunity and stress so these two have been great for me I'll have the doTERRA information linked underneath if you're looking for where to get these oils. The best primer I've ever used, this one, the Nor No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. It's like half used up and I'll be so sad when it's gone. It says it smooths and pore it's smooth and pore covering, top secret for perfect makeup and that's so true. You put it on first before, I wanna focus. And that's so true. You put it on first before your makeup and it's the most hydrating, smoothing, nice, comfortable primer. It feels like skincare to me and it makes my makeup cling on so well. It does help with the pores and most of all it helps with hydration which I need so much of. And it feels soft as silk when you put it on. It's just a really pleasant experience and I would definitely repurchase this. I think Touch and Soul is a Korean brand and you can tell by how this is almost like a skincare product, not just a primer, it's very good. Next is some lip products. I have it on my lip today. Um, it is the Buxom Lip Plumpers. I've used these for years. This is the one I have on my lips today. It's in the color Sophia. I love that name too. And that's what's on my lips today. I just, again, I, I feel like I'm a kind of, I feel like I'm the type of person that I forget like I don't know what I have till it's gone, that type of person, because I loved these, I used these all, f I loved these, I used these for years, and because I got a set of the minis, I kept misplacing them everywhere, and I would just forget about them, so out of sight, out of mind, and once I start using, going through my collection and using this again, it just gives such plump to the lips, like it really tingles. It has like a cinnamon or mint kind of feeling. It's kind of sticky, but the color payoff is beautiful. I don't think I've tried a product that plumps my lips 
as good as these buxom ones and they come in a million different colors and they're really like they could be a little uncomfortable on your lips if you have sensitive skin you can feel the tingle feel the coolness but I like that sensation but they are sticky so I've been using them with this next product here an old-time favorite Laneige lip sleeping mask I won't buy this vanilla one again though because I feel like the original formula is better than the vanilla but it's so hydrating so I like to use this either before or after I apply my plumping lip glosses because they can be drying and kind of hard on the lips I have very dry lips anyways and I'm always using this day and night and if I have a drying uh, lip product I'll use this as well but guys purchase the original you guys you get a nice pink color and the original is the most hydrating out of all of them the vanilla smells great I love vanilla but it's just not as hydrating as the original so I'm gonna place an order on Sephora soon and get the original again because I just love it but these lip glosses are great and I can tell why they have so many colors because people probably love them and buy them next is a cleanser and this is something different for me it's the pores no more cleanser by dr. Brandt this is an oily combination skin cleanser I was surprised that I like this as much as I do it has a scent almost like eucalyptus or tea tree like it has an astringent effect you can you can tell just by putting it on your face um, it's a gel cleanser you have that astringent kind of tingle of a feeling and if you get it in your eyes it burns but I've really been liking this because I'm a nurse we're wearing masks and gear all the time with this virus going on so you just sweat for 12 hours straight so my chin has never been so bad with pimples and breakouts when I work so I've been using uh, skincare that's good for oily and acne skin because actually my skin is oily now if you can believe it when I work just from sweating in a mask so much I'm sure you guys know if you go to the grocery store or anything and wear a mask how hot it can get well it makes my skin way more oily so I'm using this and since I've started using this for the last couple weeks the pimples on my jaw have gone so I hope that this will keep it away and I'm gonna have to start buying some acne kind of products for oily skin I think just because my skin's changing with all this and probably stress too <laughs> and probably stress too next is speaking of stress next is this deep sleep body cocoon by this works I got this in a previous FabFitFun. I won't pick up there. It's a nightly skin cream. It's got like lavender and all sorts of essential oils for relaxation and shea butter. I loved this. I loved this so much. I went through it in I don't know how many weeks. It's all pretty well gone. It'll be an empty soon. It smells divine. It smells like essential oils. And just like a relaxing spa scent it actually helps you get to sleep like if you're feeling wound up at night and you put it on your hands before you go to bed it helps and it's also super uh, nourishing to the skin so this went I went through this really fast because I just would use it and use it it's really pleasant to use calming and it hydrates my skin really well too the next thing that I loved is this Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray it's supposed to maintain the color of your hair and protect it from heat styling. Uh, it says a lightweight leave-in conditioner that prevents color fade and brassiness. Oh, it helps with brassiness too. Shields against environmental aggressors, UV and pollution to help prevent oxidative and protect to help prevent oxidation and protect against thermal damage. Argan ID micro encapsulated technology repairs and seals the cuticle to lock in color detangles and enhances softness and shine so I love this it smells amazing like all their products do it's great packaging I'll show you how fine the mist is if I can it's like it's like air like it's mm, it smells so good I've never seen such good packaging on a hair care product too like the mist is almost it's the tiniest tiniest particles of mist that I've seen in a hair product and that's what I like it for is just what it says it helps my hair from fading I don't dye my hair but I don't want it getting too light in the summer or reddish tones or anything I want it to stay kind of cool like how it is um, but it can get kind of highlights and stuff in the Sun helps with so much shine and it detangles it and that fine mist and scent makes it so pleasant to use because it smells great 
but the fine mist spreads it so evenly on your hair so you don't have like you know if you sometimes put too much product up here or something you'll have a greasy part after you just wash your hair so it doesn't do that so I really really like it and I love the smell of Moroccan oil products and I find Moroccan oil is an ingredient that my hair really likes next is this Sol de Janeiro product this is the Power Acai Body Power Cream. This is what it looks like. It looks like butter. And it surprisingly smells floral, which I don't like floral scents at all. So I wasn't too happy when I opened it. Um, but now I see the hype of the Bum Bum Cream. One of my friends loves it and swears by it. And every time we go to Sephora, she'll put it on. It smells amazing, like that pistachio type of scent on her. And then when I put it on with my body chemistry, it smells totally different. It doesn't smell so good. So I wanted to try the Bum Bum Cream, but try a different scent. So that's why I picked up this acai one. Um, and I would figure that it would be like a fruity scent, but it's actually really floral. And I don't enjoy the scent, and it doesn't smell good on me either. I don't know if it's just the Bum Bum Creams in reaction to my skin, but... Um, despite the scent I will buy it again because it's so good um, it says it's a body cream and that's exactly what I would use it for I've tried it on my hands and my hands are just too dry for it it doesn't give enough moisture but on your body like try it on your chest legs whatever body parts that you want tight and firm and it actually visibly makes a difference in tightness and firmness um, which is crazy and it just leaves your skin feeling so soft after so it really does whatever ingredients that are in it I'll have it linked underneath I don't remember the exact ingredients it really does make a difference in the firmness of your skin but it's not hydrating enough for hand cream so I've been using a different hand cream than that but I'll buy it even if I don't like the scent I'll probably try the the original scent or the, the other one as well um, and see which scent smells best with me, but it's really firming on your body parts that you want firmed. Um, so I would repurchase it just for that. And I do like it, and I do think it's worth the price if it actually makes it that big of a difference in your body parts. So this is what it looks like again. It's like a thick butter, so even though it's expensive, a little bit goes a long way, and then when you touch your skin the next day like if you put it on at night or after a shower touch your skin the next day it's like baby soft and everything just looks more plump so I really enjoyed that next is this Isle of Paradise self tanner um, it is vegan cruelty free, vegan friendly cruelty free and organic it's medium self tanning drops um, and this is a tanning drops that you add one or two drops in your moisturizer for your face, mix it all around on your hand and apply it to your face and it gradually gives you a tan. But these are probably the best drops that I've tried. Um, a little goes a long way so if you get this try like a drop for the first time you use it and make sure you really mix it around well and apply it all over your face like even under your eyebrows too because that part will be pale if you forget it but it does have a tanning smell but the smell goes away once you've washed it off it gradually uh, develops a tan like if I put it at the top at the beginning of my 12 hour shift by the morning when I shower and stuff my skin will be tanned and I'll wash it off and then the scent is gone um, and it gives a nice cool tan it's not orangey and it lasts so long like a lot of self tanners that I use I'll exfoliate lots and then it'll be off my face in a day or two and I'm just always pale in my face area but this one will last like a good week or so so make sure you put it on properly because you don't want it lasting blotchy for a week but this is probably one of the best face self tanners that I've tried and the medium for super pale skin is still good because it's like a uh, olive kind of tone it's not um, like an orangey tone so it wasn't too dark for my skin but I only applied two drops I've noticed from using one or two drops that's it before I use three or four the first couple times and it was blotchy so one or two is enough with your moisturizer and mix it around well and make sure you apply it everywhere like down your neck up here 
uh, everything because that part will just stay pale if you don't but I really enjoy that Next is this PMD device facial device this is what it looks like I have the navy color but I like the gold actually on the bottom and this is what it sounds like they have one it's one side for cleansing and the next side for applying serums this side for cleansing and then the other side for applying serums I haven't used it to apply serums, I just put my cleanser on it and it's got five different, if you can hear it, five different settings. The silicone is supposed to be antibacterial and it's nice because I have a Clarisonic Mia too, but I always feel guilty using it in a weird way because I always feel like guilty that I'm going to have to buy more brushes, which are like 25 bucks a piece or something. With this, you don't have to replace the brush head, which is nice. It's nice that it's antibacterial. It comes with this little stand so it can stand up in your cabinet.